Hello fellow engineers and welcome to one of my favorite ever games, Infra. So if you haven't seen this before, go and check out my playlist where you can watch the entire series so far. But basically this is a civil engineering simulator and it's simulating my day job 100% realistically. So let's hit play and continue. And this is where we got to last time. We discovered there was lots of corruption and they've sort of been buying out various companies, making other ones go bankrupt. Also they can power this secret bunker. And at the very end of last episode, we just opened these doors. However, also in the comments, someone said I really need to go back up because I missed something very important. So you're going to see if I can. Yes, we can. Apparently, I missed the opportunity to drink a beer. Now, <laughs> now, if you've been watching this series, you know I've tried many times to drink a beer. If ever I see a bottle of beer, I've tried to grab it and drink it. Uh, often ending in a smashed bottle, unfortunately. But apparently what I missed is drinkable beer. Hence, it's worth it to go back up, although this is taking quite a while. Come on. Right, so, flashlight on, and let's try and find the beer. i tell you what, that's not a beer, but what is that? Oh, it is a beer! So we just picked up the bottle opener, and this says, I hid five beer bottles for you. If you find them, drink them from the beer master. <laughs> oh, wicked. Okay, we're going on a beer hunt now. Oh, look, there's one. There is one. Come here. Okay, we, we had a cheeky beer. Nice. Oh, look, up there is another one. Is it? Yes. Huh. Plug that down. Oh, is my vision going a bit weird? All right, I'm going to spend all of my flashlight batteries trying to find these beers, I think. Oh, there's another one. Oh, God. <laughs> it's all gone a bit red. All right, I got a good vantage point now. I wouldn't recommend standing on objects like this if you're three beers down. Oh, look, there's one. There's one in the boot. I feel like my bloke is slurring now. Oh, look, there's the fifth one. Is that the last one? Oh, God. I think, I think we're drunk. I feel like the beer might be different in Finland than here. <laughs> oh, cool. That was a nice little Easter egg, wasn't it? Right, let's head back down here, down the funicular, and into the bunker. Now we've had five beers, we are more than ready to do this. Right, so in we go. Uh, blast. Is this like an airlock? Do I have to close these first? Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't like this. Why are we vibrating so much? Well, I guess there's no going back now. Oh, dear. Hopefully, this side will open. Oh, we got a loading screen. Here we go. They're opening. Oi, oi. Check this out. That's quite a long tunnel. I know this is like a super hidden bunker, but am I still meant to be inspecting and like taking photos? Like, there probably shouldn't be a puddle down here. All right, so we've got control room storages. And we've also got this. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. So we've got a book. What's in the book? All right, so this was basically the security guard's diary. Now, he sort of said generally at the bunker, there's usually military people. Uh, but there was a scientist one day and it seemed he wasn't allowed down there. He got grabbed by the army people. And then he said something about where the metro accident happened. He, f he found out about that. Uh, but he was told the passengers were okay. Obviously, we know they weren't. Because if you remember in the metro station, we saw the memorial and all the rioting because of it. Uh, but they didn't tell the security guard. So yeah, even the people that are involved in secrets still don't know everything. So what do these buttons do? Do I press one? That didn't seem to do anything. What about this one? Nothing. Okay, good to know. Let's hope I haven't done something bad. Let's go through here. Oh, it's pretty dark. I'm quite scared now. Thankfully, in the edit, I always add happy music, so... <laughs> so nothing to be scared of. All right, more batteries. A random gully in here. I don't know what that's meant to be draining. And then, oh, look, there's like... It's like a classroom. Like, what? This is a bit unusual. Loads of files and stuff. Yeah, I'll just leave that on the chalkboard. Nice. Oh, here we go. SNW project instructions. They got guard duties and scientist duties. So there was something weird going on down here. It wasn't just like a nuclear bunker or something. They were actually doing stuff with science. <laughs> <laughs> so control room there. Can we open that? We can open this. What's down here? Another sort of smaller classroom. All right, so in here we have some pretty hardcore equipment. What is all this? All right, and then we've got this. I don't think Jonas fixed that circuit breaker properly. There was a brief blackout today with breaker two. Uh, if it doesn't work, make sure everything is okay in the electrical room, which is just outside the bunker. Okay, I'm guessing that alarm, that buzzing, does that mean it's not working? Oh, I think I turned something on. Should I have pressed that? Oh, God. Oh, look. We've got shutters. We've got shutters. All right, what is that? Ooh. Oh, what is... What is that? Why is there like a smashed up train and some mushrooms? Okay, this is a bit unusual. All right, what's through this door? God, I'm actually really scared for some reason. <laughs> Why is this game so creepy? All right, so it looks like people were like sleeping in these. Like little bunk rooms. And look, here we got a locker room. Oh, more bunk beds. Blimey. So whatever was going on, there was a lot of people involved. Oh, look, more beer. Can we drink more beer? No, I don't think we can. 
I'm an addict now. Oh, look, that's a nice drawing. All right, anything good in this room? Pretty standard like the others. No poo in the toilet. Quite unusual for this game. All right, what about this one? All good. All clear. Yep, all clear. All right, we're in the old showers. I am a proper getting a bit creeped out by this. It's properly abandoned. <laughs> God, I keep hearing things creaking as well. I'm actually scared. Does anyone else hear that? That's creaking. And that's not my ass creaking. There's actually something. Oh, king hell. You twat bear. Right, nothing in the toilets. Okay, we're good. We're good. Right, so the canteen. Oh, God. What the hell happened to that bear? I can pick it up. It's got mushrooms growing out of it. Is that going to kill me? Okay, now we have a mushroomy bear. What? <laughs> Why? Do I need this for something? Oh, look, there's a hat. You got a hat of mushrooms as well. All right, nothing else really in there. How about the stairs? Can we get to the stairs? No. Okay, so we'll take a photo of the elevator. I probably should take a photo of this and maybe the train we saw as well. <laughs> I love that, like, nothing clicked that this is broken until I saw the out of order elevator. I've noticed there's, like, these banners hanging about everywhere as well. They got the atomic symbol on, so maybe there is sort of some nuclear stuff going on. Oh, look, there's a posh office up there. Look, you can tell it's posh. Green lamp. All right, this place has been absolutely ransacked. Yeah, we can actually open all these. Do I bother? Oh, what a surprise, they're all empty. But there are some more over this side. I don't know why I'm opening these ones. I can see they're empty. <laughs> all right, proper high-tech equipment down here. Oh, look, another switchboard. We had fun with that earlier, didn't we? All right, should probably take a photo of this. Let's see if he says anything. That's an odd place for a train wreck. That is an odd place for a train wreck. Quite right, mate. All right, what if I try these again? Oh, look, here we go. Oh, but I think because I turned the breakers on, that did a load of stuff. What does that one do then? Don't know. But still, we can go this way now. Oh, and that's the train wreck. Okay, so we were over there by that window, but now we're over here. So we'll go down. So we won't go down because the elevator doesn't work. Oh, it does work. <laughs> you nearly tricked me, elevator. Not for the first time. All right, this is pretty mullered. I don't really know... I don't know why it's here at all. Very peculiar. I assume, yeah, they're locked with a red light. Perhaps we can change that. Doesn't look like there's a live rail, so we'll have a little explore down here. No, we can't get down there. Okay. Oh, look, there's a button here in the dark. Didn't do anything. I feel like we need some power down here. It's pretty dark at the moment. Does this one work? Oh, yes, this one works. Okay, maybe those buttons are just broken. Oh, God. What the frig? What are all these? There's loads of dead bodies, are they? I mean, I guess they could be anything. I'm going to take a photo, though. But I'm going to assume from the shape that they're dead bodies, perhaps from the train. Is there anything down here? What is that? Turnip chips. I thought there's just a chair. <laughs> like someone just comes there when they get the munchies, do they? You have a little snack on some crisps. Right, weird. Nothing down there, really. And that room must stink as well. Like, it wasn't chilled or anything. All right, so we've got a half-open door here. We'll go under. Uh... <laughs> This don't seem like a good place for me to be. So they're enriching uranium down here, but also storing dead passengers from a train crash? What? Is this a photo? Yeah, it is. I don't know why it's a photo. I don't think there's anything wrong with enriching uranium if we're just trying to find problems. All right, I guess we'll head back up. Not sure what else is down here. There's a lift now broken. Nope, nearly got me twice. Nearly got me twice. All right, there's actually a walkway around here. What about this direction? What's that with the lights? Is that a little cab? Oh, I think it might be. Can we can we go up here? Oh, look, we're going to control a crane. Yes, we're in the driver's seat. So Wazda has moved. Oh, so we're moving that around. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, we're going to do some damage with this. All right, can I knock the other ones out the way? Is that what I need to do? Yes, I'm knocking them out the way. Aha, now we can get past. All right, so we'll leave that there and we'll go back down then. Oh, and I think I've made this a bit dangerous for myself. <laughs> Oh dear, Matt, what have you done? I don't really want to get hit by that. I assume it will probably kill me. This game's quite unforgiving with its killness. So ready. Go! <laughs> oh god, can you imagine if that was real life and I was just too lazy to go back up? I was like, yeah, I'll just outrun it. It'll be fine. All right, so now we can go down here where we push those out the way and see what there is. Can we open this? No. I want to know what's in there. Yeah, we can go through this door, though. So what do we have down here? So some broken stairs. That's a photo. And then we can climb up thanks to the box. Gotta love a video game box. Then we go up these stairs. So we've got the lab and some sleeping courses. They're locked. What about these ones? Also locked. No sleeping for us. we got danger keep out locked. Uh, there's some payphones, but it looks like the phones have all been cut. All right, so this is the lab. 
Oh god. Alright, so it looks like some sort of airlock where we get washed down. But I guess there's no power. So control room, locked. There's a lot of locked doors in this bunker. So let's go down to the sleeping quarters. Oh wait, isn't this where you were before? That was that really fancy computer. Yes, because I remember these as well, the switchboards. Interesting, we've done a loop. Oh, what is this? There's a code. I have to keep an eye out for a code. Uh, what do I do then? Alright, I've spent ages. This is the only place I can sort of think that we get into. We definitely can't do that. What if we shut the door behind us? If this works. No, I don't think it did. Oh, it did. It did. Oh, it didn't spray us down. Ooh, we're in. We are in. You know, there's a beer. <laughs> they were testing the viscosity of a beer. Oh, this is just a weird beer factory. Uh, there's a radiation hazard, apparently. That can't be good. Oh, here we go. What does this say? Richard, I've told you over and over again to use proper precautions when experimenting with the... The what? The core and the reflector? A mere screwdriver is not safe. No matter how good your big word is... <laughs> <laughs> and how cautious you claim to be. If that reflector locks in, we're all dead. Oh god, I feel like there was some nuclear stuff going on. That probably isn't good. Let's have a photo of that. What is that? It's like a dome thing I can pick up. What does this do? Does it go on there? Oh god, what? Oh shh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, I just died. <laughs> oh, Matt, why do you always die? Uh, so yeah, that's a photo. That's... That's the reflector, I think, with the screwdriver and the core and... Yeah, okay. Dangerous. Dangerous stuff. All right, let's get out of here then. All right, I've been literally wandering for ages. I'm trying all these rooms again. This is where I opened all the things. I really... Ooh. Oh, don't say. I was meant to make a staircase. Don't tell me this game. You can't have done that to me. Oh, no. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Right, okay. We're in a vent. We are in a vent. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Uh, okay, we're going up bloody this. Oh dear. So we're on the first floor. We can't open that. There's another little thing to go through here. Ooh, look. All right, look out. Let's watch this then. Oh, the door code is 2077. Isn't that like Fallout number? Yeah, I'm pretty sure like the game Fallout. That's when that happened. All right, okay. Let's go and lock the door and see what's in there. Right, we got this open. Oh god, that don't look good. Why is there like a nice swimming pool down here? What? <laughs> it's like a beer garden thing going on, but we're definitely underground. Oh god, there's a lot of bears in here. <laughs> what are you looking at? He's got a screwdriver. What the frig? <laughs> right, anything good in here? You. Thankfully not. Oh look, they got a bar here and everything. Do the old toilet check. Oh, what's that? What's that? We got a key. Oh, and something to read. I just to say, I must be going crazy after being a prisoner for so long in this cursed bunker. Yeah, then they said the guards locked the doors and something about the metro accident. Now they're wondering if they caused it. So maybe this was one of the scientists that worked here? And she really wanted to be in Richard's room, the crazy guy. So let's try and do that. Apparently he had some spray paint. So now we have a key. Maybe we can go in there? So I think we just unlocked this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Richard is a little bit crazy. What the frig? Is that a photo? That's not even a photo. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty terrifying. He's probably left a turd in his toilet. Thankfully, it's locked. We'll never find out. Uh, there's a little secret area back here. What is this? Computer and then a bed. All right, some sort of code. Not sure I have the capacity to work it out, but uh, it's a photo. All right, really don't know what else to do. If I look in here. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I just I was like, oh, because there's, there's quite a lot of boots in this game. I was like, oh, there's boots there. There's a noose above it. Fascinating. Really? That's fascinating. You, you're weird, mate. <laughs> oh, due to the fact that the Metro accident has caused a high risk to exposing the entire project. Oh, so they moved everything here to like cover it up. Any surviving Metro passengers must be executed and their bodies must be disposed with. We can't hand the bodies over to their families due to the radiation. Holy what? This is mental. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I probably should have read this a bit earlier. That would have helped me understand what the hell was going on. All right, this is the main office. Oh, this is the one we saw earlier, wasn't it? With the posh lamp. Let's read this. Oh, God, my head. 
<laughs> yeah, one of the scientists was found dead in the hallway between rooms G1 and G2. He had a strange note full of codes. I think they're the codes that we saw on that computer. Yeah, they're having trouble getting rid of the metro passengers and haven't decided what to do with the train yet. And then it looks like he really rushed to type this out. We have to leave immediately. Something bad. I really shouldn't be down here if there was like radiation and stuff. Let's take a photo of that. Uh, I should probably take a photo of that one as well. Forgot about that. Oops. All right, let's head back out here then. And then we can go up another floor, because this was just the first floor, remember? So I think we can go up. I assume that door doesn't work yet. So let's try not to lose our head. How the hell are we going to stop that spinning around? Gas sensors. Fan closes automatically when sensors detect toxic gases. Okay. We can turn that on or off. Uh, okay. What is down there? Ooh, bit of a tunnel down there. Can't get down there, though. Okay, so we're going to have to try and find some toxic gases. Oh, I know. All right, Mr. Bear. Do you go in? Does he go in here, the bear? I think we'll plonk him in there. And then we turn that on. No, I hear beeping. No, I don't feel like that worked. I feel like it probably should have worked. All right, I'll go get something else. Oh, this thing's beeping now. Is it meant to be here? All right, there you go. All right, I'm going to leave the hat there. Has that stopped the fan? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, look, there's one there as well. What if I... I think if I had both of them covered... Maybe it would stop. Right, there's also a boot that I found. That's got quite a lot of mushrooms in it. And then we'll go put the boot in the other one. If we need the bear as well, if we need all three, we're screwed. Because I've lost the bear. <laughs> About there. Yes, 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 it's stopping. <laughs> yes. Oh, I thought I cocked it. I thought I cocked it bad. All right, let's get up here. All right, then we're going up this hatch. Oh, God. I have no idea where we're going. We might come out, like, outside. We might see fresh air for the first time in months. All right, look, here we are. Here we are. Oh, look, a bit of rebar poking out. Yeah, there's a ladder there. Can we jump up? No, we can't jump up. Is there a box or anything? Oh, balls, we can't get out. Okay, does that mean we're going to have to go down the other hole? What one did we come up again? <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Well, anyway, guys, I think we're going to leave it there for today. If you want to know what's down the next hole, I think it's that one or is it that one? I don't know. Comment below. Left, right. I don't know. But uh, peace, love and underground nuclear bunkers that kill people because there's lots of corruption and bad stuff going on. <gasps> Bye, guys.